Hello, hello, hello there, my budding geniuses. Welcome to day one of Oyemi Learning. It is a Mathematic Monday. It is June 19th. And you should be down at the bottom where it says Summer Edition Week 1. This is our first week of learning, and it's Monday. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to use a hundreds chart to help us add. Then we're going to order numbers, and we are counting by 10. We can use our hundreds chart to help us with that. And then down at the bottom, we are looking at the place and the value of numbers. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to use the hundreds chart below to answer the following questions. We're going to use the compass here as a guide. So this compass lets me know that if I go to the right, I'm adding one. If I go to the left, I'm subtracting one. If I'm going up, I'm subtracting 10. And if I'm going down, I'm adding 10. So because all of these say more than, I know I need to go down 10. So the first thing I wanna do, since all of them have the number eight, is I'm gonna highlight the number eight right here eight now based on my compass if i move down one row i have added 10 and if you look there is a 10 added to that eight 10 plus 8 is 18. so i know here for my first answer i'm gonna put the number 18. did you get that right of course you did because you're a genius Now, that's 10 more. This one is asking me for 20 more. So that means I have to start back at that eight, go down 10, and go down 10 more. There's 28, which makes sense because 20 plus eight would give me 28. Now, do you see the pattern? 18, 28, what do you think will come next? 8, 18, 28, 38. So I notice here that my ones place stayed exactly the same because I'm adding just to eight, which is a one. My tens place is what is changing because I'm adding tens. There's that place value. I bet we're gonna see that down at the bottom. Now here, I'm gonna still leave my hundreds chart here in case I need it, but I'm gonna be ordering numbers. And it tells me I'm counting by 10. So I don't even have to figure it out. I know I'm counting by 10. So here I notice the same number in my ones place. Oh, there's nothing there, there's nothing there. Five. It's the same number. So that's a pattern I notice. But the tens place is changing. There's a four here. There's a five here. Nothing there, nothing there. There's an eight here. There's a nine here. Hmm. So that keeps changing. What do we think? Well, I know five is going to be in my ones place. It's my tens place that's changing. So here I have 45, 55. What do we think? 65. Next. 75. Here we have 85, 95. Now 95 is a little tricky because even here I see 45. 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, just like I have here, but my hundred chart ends right here. So mentally I have to think, hmm, what would come after this hundred if I kept going? Well, I think this would be 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 
106, 107, 108, 109, and 110. Interesting, because that first line follows the same pattern as the top line, except there's a hundred in the beginning. So I think here, after 95, the next number in my pattern would be 105. Wow. Geniuses. Now here, I'm at 109. And then I go back to 99. And then I have three blanks. Then I have 59. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing that I put 109 right here on my chart because I can clearly see that this seems to be counting backwards. Here I was in the hundreds and back here I ended up in the fifties. So I know this number is larger than this number and is counting backwards by 10. Let's do it. 109, 99, 89, follow with your finger, 79, going up 10, 69, going up 10, and 59, which was already there. Look at that. Wow. Genius. The last thing I want to show you today, just our first day together, get that summer brain going in gear. It says, what place is it in? Read each number to yourself, name the value, and place of the underlined digit. So I have the words here, hundreds, tens, and ones. That's probably to help me there with my vocabulary, but also to help me understand place value. The hundreds place, the tens place, and the ones place. So I have to look at the underlying digit. Let me underline that because that's probably important. So right here, I have 142 and the one is underlined. Well, that one is in the hundreds place and the value of that one is 100. Now that we understand what it means by place and value, here I have 62. The two is underlined. What place would that be? The hundreds, tens, or ones? That is the ones place. And the value is just two because we say that number 62. So it's just two. Here I have 27 and the two is underlined. The place that the two is in is at the hundreds, tens, or ones. It is in the tens place. And the value of that two is 20. So we pick this number on purpose. Two can be different depending on the place where the number is. So here the two is in the ones place and it's just two. Here the two is in the tens place and it is 20. Wow, look at that work we were able to get done today. Short and sweet and you got to practice some number manipulation. I'm so proud of you. See you tomorrow. Hi, my budding geniuses. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you have your book so you can follow along. Practice on your own for 15 minutes and then log in to review the lesson. Remember, there's a purpose for your life. If you stay focused, you can say, oh, yay me. I understand. See you tomorrow. Bye now.